Okay. I'll even read some of this, man. I'm gonna feel, I feel disgusting. I feel disgusting reading this in my head right now, but I'm gonna do it. And like I said, I've written some nasty shit to people, you know, but I like right here, knowing that he's writing to somebody who really don't want it. <laughs> and I ain't got this nasty before. I ain't never been this nasty. It's really disgusting, y'all. I'll read it. I don't feel good about it. Uh, I hope I don't get into trouble on Twitch for reading this, but here's, here's one of them right here. Join me for a night of sit-down comedy over at the Broadway Comedy Club, March 15th. That's in New York, of course. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing about this. I should not, but this is... There's some things you see you see so bizarre and it's so horrible. You can't help but just laugh to keep from crying, man. I enjoy destroying lives. It turns me on. Well, this is not age well. <laughs> no, no. We didn't know that this was a true story, y'all. Julian looked this, he reminded me of this clip. I remember this clip, but Julian, hey man, you remember, remember we thought that this was an act? <laughs> <laughs> no, it turns out this fool really is crazy, man. I'm talking about this because I just found out today, if any of this is to be believed, just how sick your boy Vince McMahon is. He's so sick, he grew a villainous mustache. Look at <laughs> boy, that. Boy, he sure did. He came <laughs> Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm nasty. I did not. Now, listen, there's been a lot of people who've been catching it these days. You know, been a lot of allegations that have been coming up. You know, a lot of allegations of sexual harassment and rape. You know, your boy Diddy. Mm -hmm. You know, they ca finally caught the black joker, man. <laughs> they, him, <laughs> him paying people, you know, paying off people. And meanwhile, there's other cases coming up. Who, who, who else recently? Uh, there's been some people on the back burner. They might be coming back up. Russell Brand. Oh, he caught right. one a little bit. He's simmering right now. Uh -huh, <laughs> he ain't right. really done yet. Uh, yeah, Ben Diesel was the latest one. I don't know. Really? It, was, it was just one. Yeah, we talked about it. Oh, okay. it was just one case. Okay, yeah, random day we talked about it. He was drunk, Dan. <laughs> now that's what you got, Law. You you got so caught up in his <laughs> his, his, his alcoholic, crazy ass dancing yeah, that you yeah. forgot that he you know he had a rape allegation. Right, right, right. But uh, yeah, somebody came up and said that he you know he did something. It was only one though, so we don't know. We don't know. Um, but yeah, man. But this one right here, I'm not saying that. Look, but this is no. This is not harassment Olympics, you know, right here, anything. But this, <laughs> but if it was, this man might be up for a gold medal. I mean, this contender. Yeah, but and, and I'm saying this and, 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 and realizing how sad this is, man. Because Vince McMahon, he's been on the back burner for a while. Mm. He, like I said, man, he's been on the stove simmering for years now. It's just some other people, you know, kind of they they kind of upstaged him for a little while. Yeah. But you know, and I. I knew about Vince McMahon as you know, as far as there were things floating about him. Yeah, I yeah. just didn't know how bad it was. Yeah, yeah, because it was at one point he stepped down from all the wrestling stuff to let somebody else take over. But people were like, he was still running shit behind the scenes. Oh yeah, this man, this man has a history of bad sexual behavior. In that, in we're talking about harassment, inappropriate relationships, cover ups, paying people off, groping. Rape accusations and <laughs> right when you think it could get any crazy, sex trafficking. And there are some details that are worse here, which we will talk about in a little bit. But I was like, damn, sex trafficking too? Right. It's, and there's a whole list of this out here. I had to ask people because, I listen, I'm going to tell you, I don't know anything about this stuff. I didn't, I didn't I don't follow wrestling. I don't follow Vince McMahon. I just know that his allegations were out there. But there's a whole rap sheet here. I'm looking at this on, uh, and I want to thank uh, Nick Diaz for sending this to me. This is from WrestlingInc.com. I mean, we're going back to 1992. Vince McMahon is accused of turning a blind eye to sexual rampant misconduct in the WWF. He said, well, that's because I'm doing shit too. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh-huh, look at that. I don't know about that. Uh, but if you go down this list, uh, Vince suspected a ring announcer had a peculiar and unnatural relationship with children. I think he hesitated to talk about that. Yikes. Yeah, uh, the list goes on. So far, you know, but ain't nobody talking about Vince, but oh. In 1992, Rita Chatterton comes forward alleging McMahon raped her in 1986. Uh, Rita Chatterton comes forward 30 years after Titan Gate. What is Titan Gate? I have no idea. See, I don't keep up with this. I guess I could read this and see what Titan Gate is. In June, 2022, 
coming off the initial Wall Street Journal article about McMahon settling sexual misconduct claims, Chatterton broke her silence in a New York Magazine article, giving additional context while pointing to the Geraldo episode for the details of her allegations. More newsworthy, though, was that Chatterton was now supported by a contemporaneous outcry witness. Uh, Leonard Mario Mancini in the what in Zitari in this Zitari damn damn what <laughs> were well, you in the Godfather <laughs> who who went to wrestling school with her uh, was she taken advantage of absolutely he said was she scared to death absolutely did she want to do that probably not so this is a guy coming out and sticking up for her saying that yeah more than likely what she's saying is what happened. How are you able to read that with all those ads for that exercise machine <laughs> plastered know. over everything? I know. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading this. Was she taken advantage of? Absolutely. Did she get 9% off, jacked off, mix? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, those ads are taken over, man. <laughs> they are. I feel like I'm, I'm being harassed by these exercise rigs right here, man. Exercise machine herpes. On yeah, the computer. Jesus. 1992, McMahon's role in Jimmy Snuka's evading domestic violence and potentially murder charges are revealed. Oh, Jesus. The pause button was pressed on Nancy Argentino case for 30 years. Uh, 2006, tanning salon employee files a police report against McMahon alleging forcible groping. Going down even more. Whistleblower email kicks off hush money slash non-disclosure agreement uh, investigation. And we soon learn about some, there's a thing going on with paralegals and Wall Street Journal uncovers three more settlements, including from a former talent uh, alleging sexual assault. Now, these are some of the allegations. The article with the restless uh, coercion allegation didn't stop there. Uh, Paul, Lon Paul London accuses McMahon of sexually harassing Ashley Massaro. I mean, this. listen, people, this is... Uh, this this is just the tip of it all, man. These are the people who came forward. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> there's something here. The real the real nasty stuff comes up with the the the, the sex trafficking accusations. Mm -hmm. WWE ties uh, cuts ties with uh, Vince McMahon after sex trafficking accusations. That's from the New York Times. Vince McMahon, the longtime chairman and former chief executive of World Wrestling Entertainment, resigned from the board of WWE's parent company on Friday. One day after a former employee accused him of sexual assault and sex trafficking in a lawsuit. And I can tell you what, man, you know, we, we, we use the words allegation to be safe. But I'm going to tell you, this fool did something. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And this man told me uh, this man told me something today. That was like right when I didn't think it getting nasty. It, it's, told me it's just as bad as it can get. I, I follow a moist critical, a.k.a. Penguin Zero. His name's Charlie's big YouTuber. Now before you reveal that, let me show people. Let me tell you, because you're sure. you about to tell people something that's going to. If y'all are eating, just put your food away. I'll just <laughs> cut this off. I don't usually like to tell people to like stop listening and watching, but y'all just go away if you still want to eat your food. You know, still well, go away if you just want to believe in humanity. <laughs> 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 this man made so. He, he sent so many. Uh, text out there to this woman uh jane grant who was an employee and this is the this is the person that's in the center of the sex traffic and stuff uh i can't even man i, I can't even show these texts i mean i can give you i can give you glimpses you know you could probably catch you know little glimpses of what's said right but i'm not showing you this stuff man it's nasty oh come on <laughs> i can't I, man i like i'm afraid you know what I'll, okay i can show you this i want to blur this out if we put it on if we put it on, put this on a uh, uh, on on YouTube, okay. I'll even read some of this, man. I'm gonna feel I feel disgusting. I feel disgusting reading this in my head right now, but I'm gonna do it. And like I said, I've written some nasty shit to people, you know. But I like right here, knowing that he's writing to somebody who really don't want it. <laughs> and I ain't got this nasty before. I ain't never been this nasty. It's really disgusting, y'all. I'll read it. I don't feel good about it. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble on Twitch for reading this. But here's here's one of them right here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is this is him following some threesome fantasies that he had with this woman. Forgive me, y'all. Forgive me, Jesus. I love it. That's you, uh, Janelle. I guess he meant to write Janet, but he wrote Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be twice a day, not just with blank right here. I guess trying to come up a name in a three-way 
Why not let others see the beautiful, voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you come? They'll go out of their minds. Then you'll find more friends and we'll tie you up so you're helpless. See? Now, there's clues in here where he's because he's he starts talking about assault type shit. Yeah. I mean, he's had he has assault fantasies going on so we can tie you I, up I think to Janelle your health. is the name. Oh, was that the name? Yeah, yeah. OK, sorry. Uh, let me see here. I'll direct them to have their way with any way they want. Who can make you scream the loudest? He put scream, but I think he meant scream. Uh, maybe I'll just line them up and have them squirt in your mouth. You're. You, Jesus, forgive me, Lord. Your <laughs> pussy all over your tits and ass all over at the same time. You'll be covered in cum and we'll make you eat it all and taste everybody's. The next morning, you'll be a little sore, but you'll want more. Man, get the f I ain't, See, I ain't never wrote nothing like this before. This man's a monster. Now, this is where, now this is where I think the reason why Vince McMahon, and I'm not even trying to make a joke out of it. The reason why Vince McMahon is so out of his goddamn mind is because he's holding back something. These texts are trying to tell us something. He's trying to admit something about himself. I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm just going to say it. This man loves black dicks. Don't nobody. What? Yeah, yeah. And again, you think Martin, you're like, what? <laughs> Martin's like, he does. <laughs> Martin, Martin was like, I like the way Martin was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I didn't get that from what you read. I was hey, okay. No, I'm. I got a follow up. Okay. If you didn't get it, you will now. Okay. You're going right. to get them black dicks right now. Okay. Like, this okay. man loves black dicks, okay? And and I'm telling you this because he, what he just wrote. This is not a. He's. I dare say that this woman, he, she's an avatar for him in this fantasy oh. right here. Listen to what I'm about to read okay. right here. All right. Your last picture. You. You need your panties ripped off in three big black dicks in all three holes at the same time. Way up your, I'm just gonna say a private parts. As far as they will go, even further. In the even further. In the <laughs> when they can't stop, keep going. And the thickest cock goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulse as those big black pound away. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted. Listen to this man. This man, okay. This 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 man did this shit. Well, this all right? is all the more disturbing because her allegation is that he was pimping her out to different people. Mm -hmm. You know, and, for, that's the, that's the sex trafficking part. Oh, oh yeah. And see, this is him fantasizing towards. And by the way, he goes on for another page about black dicks. He's this man. <laughs> this man wants. I'm telling you, man. This man. I was he a Kardashian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody sit around <laughs> dreaming about three black penises <laughs> unless they want some. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like, wh why you have to be that specific? Right. That's that's very detailed. Uh -huh. you, know, you know, this is not about her no more. You know, you you, you want this too. It's not like, quit, quit talking about her. He knows what he likes. Yeah, this man, yeah, he wants some chocolate, she's man. Right. She's his avatar. Yeah, he has his avatar right uh -huh. there. He's putting himself that, stop playing, man. This is you, all right? This is why, you're, this is why your ass is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I suppose before I'm reading that, she's like, yeah, I got to speak up about this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I put up with it up to this point, but this is this is the end game. Oh, <laughs> hell no. And I'm not reading the rest of this. This is no, this is too much. I feel dirty enough reading this, and I've written some dirty things before, but I ain't doing this no more. I, if you want to read it, you go out there. There's a whole other four, six pages of this stuff. This man. <laughs> I'm sure there's people listening on like, oh, come on, Corey, I was almost there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't leave me like this. <laughs> it gets dirty. <laughs> but you need your ass beat too, just like Vince McMahon. Just too more sentences. Yeah, please. I'm, <laughs> go off and get that yourself. No, that's too nasty for me. A, if you are that person, you need your ass work. You need to be beat by three black penises. <laughs> yeah, say it again. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> but this is what you were telling me about. Mm -hmm. Where I there's more. You, <laughs> yes. I told you, like right reading right, thing getting worse. Yeah, there's okay. more. Uh, Again, I hate, I got to say this. Maybe this is what, maybe, you know, maybe this will get people there what you're saying. You know, this is, <laughs> this, this is the one they're looking for. Vince McMahon accused of sexually abusing, defecating on former WWE employee. This woman that they're talking about, like yeah. him and another guy. I don't know how many, I don't want to go into deep details about it, but you, can you be? Miss Grant, I believe. Is. Yeah. I have the, the quote from the article pulled up. But I mean, to just put it bluntly, like 
he he shit on this lady. Yeah. He was having a threesome with his tr- not trainer but like physical therapist yeah. Yeah. and uh he he ordered her to keep having sex with that guy while he took a shower. And then they he came back and they for hours the whole time she's covered in shit. Oh, his boy. shit. Yeah. 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 Ugh. Nah, Vince McMahon Ooh. is Vince. Vince McMahon is a monster, man. Yeah, this guy. No, he's he's a horrible person. I, I the way he's. I mean, come on, man. The way he wrote that stuff out there that does not help his case at all. You can't convince me otherwise. Mm-mm. This man's insane. I, I did not know any of this. This this this. Like I said today, this is. You know, I just uh, when I was reading this, I just pick picks up and just held. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, I just I just don't believe in mankind anymore. Is anybody going to name that physical trainer? Because with, with stories oh, you like this, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's committed. He's yeah. good. Wow, <laughs> well, <laughs> my wife and I are interested. Well, no, there's always stories like this where the famous person, everybody knows who they are, but there's other people involved who mm-hmm. seem to skate by. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, round them all up. Yeah, no, that's and some people are actually. I did see an article the other day where they said that this person should never be in front of the camera again. I didn't know what it was about because I didn't know how bad this was. Mm-hmm. But they said if everything is true and this person was involved, they say this person should never be allowed to get back up there on camera and, and, and you know, and, and pursue his his wrestling career as it is yeah. if he was involved in this, man. Again, I didn't know, man. You know, but hey. Yeah, this is disturbing. I was, I really was. I don't know why, man. I was just so. Di- I mean, I've read, I've read a lot of disturbing things, you know, with murder and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what was just, just what bothered me about this. It was really just hard reading this for me, man. I don't know. I, it's it's scary, dude. You know, like you hear about someone who goes through that, and it's like, wow. Like ah, uh, Brock Brock Lesnar. I guess that's oh, who I was, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I guess that's who I was reading about. Jeez, that guy's a monster. I mean, I mean, he, just how big he is. Everybody, like he's like the Hulk. Like the, he's like the Hulk with a blonde crew cut. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, man. So this... he was the physical therapist. I, I don't no, know. He's a wrestler. He's a, no, oh, but oh. I'm saying in that scenario, like, oh. is, are they talking about him? I don't know what you know. I what? Hope yeah, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me what this is. Like I said, I just read this and I didn't know what it was in context to. But what did he do? You know, yeah, that, I, what was his okay. involvement? Because I, yeah, I did see one of the headlines. It was is Brock Lesnar's career over? Mm. But I thought, well, this must be about something else. I would really love to know, and, and it's all alleged. I know somebody says it's alleged. I know, I know. I don't listen. I know it's alleged with him, but the way he wrote this shit and the way he wrote, you know, he was so specific about abuse. He, like he has abuse fantasies, and the way he's, you know, he, I, and this is another thing, man. You're talking about like I, mean, I don't go out and, and and really, I don't go out, I don't go at anyone when it's just you know light allegations or mm. there's one allegation or anything. But man, when it's when it's several people in years, yeah, you combine those two, and then you combine those nasty ass texts. So those mm. texts, that is her name is Janelle Grant. Okay. So it's the same person. Yeah, Janelle Grant. Yeah. Okay, God, <laughs> give that lady the WWE. Like Jesus, that's that's so. Oh, so I guess uh, this guy Brock was named in the in the in the sex trafficking allegations. Skull just put it up here. Uh, Yeah, Janelle Grant. Former WWE staffer Janelle Grant filed a lawsuit Thursday in which she alleged that longtime WWE chairman and CEO Vince McMahon sexually abused her and sex trafficked her to others in the company. Um, Where is uh, this guy Brock at? Additionally, Grant alleges in the lawsuit that McMahon had to create personalized sexual content for WWE superstar that he was trying to resign. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's this guy right here, Brock. But anyway, anyway, he's named in the in the lawsuit. His place in it, I don't know. It's not really saying right here not that I can see. Just glancing right now. Yeah, it sounds like one of those like, hey, go have sex with this guy to sweeten the pot so he'll sign. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, for those who are keeping up with this stuff, so what does this mean for for Vince McMahon? I mean, I don't think. He's 78 years old. That's I mean, the he, thing. They catch these people money. when they're so old, it almost doesn't even matter. Yeah. He's got his money. Even if he goes down in shame, he can just become a recluse and still mm-hmm. live off of his money and, believe it or not, his fame. Some people just don't care. Some people just straight up star fuckers, man. Uh, but can he, because I don't know. I'm ignorant in this this this, this in this case right here. Uh, is it too late to legally pursue any kind of rape case here? With How him? long ago did it happen? Uh, I don't know. I, was it two thousand two? 
Maybe it was 2002. Let me see here. I'll look. I'll look in this. <clears throat> She, she signed a non-disclosure in 2022, but when did that happen? Some people are saying 20, 2019 through 2022 is when it happened. Oh, well, yeah, that's well within the, the yeah. statute of limitations. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, just looking it up. Apparently, Brock Lesnar was supposed to be a part of some event, and like like an hour ago, they just said that he's off the bill. Wow. Okay. And he's been away, apparently. My mom just texted me. Likely he will end up in jail. Oh, exclamation point. Wow. I mean, if it's that recent, probably. Additionally, Grant alleges in the, and this is from Skull, from the article, from the article right here. He says, uh, Grant alleges in the lawsuit that McMahon had her create personalized sexual content uh, for a superstar. That must have been him then, because I just read that. Mm -hmm. And they don't name him. So that must have been him that, that was that was unnamed in this article here. Maybe Create that was a, sexualized content. Like she shot a porno for him or. Yeah, I don't know. That could be anything. And some states have no statute of limitation for race. Yeah, that's so right. It doesn't matter. I, even the ones that, that do, they're starting to expand it. She went public because Vince paid her $1 million. She signed the NDA for 3 million. Mm -hmm. Well, you better pay up. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad you didn't because I want you to get caught, but shit. Yeah, I think it's one of those where it's like, well, you talk, so now you don't get the rest of the money. He wanted, somebody said, ah, oh, man, I believe it. I don't know if they're joking or not. He wanted piss videos. Oh, okay. Man, that, that, that checks out. That does check out. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Jesus. What? Well, I got, I got, man, I got, I went out this hole. <laughs> I'm tired of the hell. I want to get, I want to go home. <laughs> I don't like this, man. Make sure you fucking wash your hands. Is... <laughs> we told you not to open that door. Yeah, let, me, let me hug my dog again. I don't like this. Goddamn animals are better than human beings. <laughs> Even though Pixie was humping my arm last night. <laughs> Oh, uh, somebody said you're already home. No. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are. No, just don't you feel like right home. there. No, you ain't going I want to go to your house now. <laughs> <laughs> this house feels dirty. <laughs> I don't like it here. <laughs> I've tainted this house. <laughs> Read those texts over there, man. <laughs> Taint. Anyway. <that's> good. <laughs> Stop. This is, not, this is not the time. This is not the time for that. Oh. Uh, so what do y'all think, man? Do you think I want to ask the chat? Do y'all think that he could go to jail behind this? You know, you you all of you keep up with this, man. You guys can roll it. You know, voice I don't on watch this wrestling. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know, like I said, I, I'm pretty ignorant on this. I don't I don't know the law well enough to say. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it, I mean, if it's a thing where she's able to press charges, mm -hmm. then yeah, yeah, and certainly a, a civil suit. He's just so rich, man. And I don't. I don't I hate to say it. I'm pessimistic about these things. I don't think he will. I don't think he'll do any time. No, I really don't. I doubt it. Also, uh, I really don't. Yeah. Well, anyway, y'all. Uh, there rich you go. And he's old enough to where they're like, ah, a sense will kill him. The best they'll give him is house arrest, community yeah. service. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I'm sorry for ruining y'all's day. Well, my mom, who's a lawyer who I think is watching right now, she, she's texting me with confidence. She's saying he will be charged and will go to jail. She thinks, I think he will do time. Okay. That's what she's saying. Lawyer of over 25 years experience. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. So hey. She knows. Ask your mom. She like my slam poetry reading. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like, ah, I see stuff like that all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nothing new to me. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah.